It's stressing about these bitches that's enough. Why? It's stressing about these bitches that's enough. It's stressing about these bitches that's enough. Why? Gay, sir. Gay. I'm kidding. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh Gazer Bonnet Tafe in the building. Let's get some love for all the Bonnet users in the world. This video, this video. Last night I watched the Batman. Starring Robert Pattinson, Zoe Kravitz, Colin Farrell, directed by Matt Reeves. I watched it. I watched it last night on a whim. Originally, I wasn't going to go watch it. You know why? Because DC fucking sucks. But I let the hype get to me. My friend calls me. He's like, yo, niggas like Batman. Niggas like the bat, the Batman. Just like Suicide Squad and The Suicide Squad, this is THE Batman. He's like, niggas love THE Batman. I wasn't doing anything the whole day. I'm like, you wanna go watch it? Yeah. We get the time, we get the place, and we go. He sent me uh, the variant video about them talking about it, spoiler free. Mind you, this video is gonna be spoilers. So if you haven't watched it yet, don't. <laughs> so, no, go watch it for yourself, but there will be spoilers in this video. And he's talking about people are comparing it to the Arkham series. People are calling it a very great Batman movie. Mind you, that is what they're saying. Batman movie, not superhero movie, not comic book movie, Batman movie. Now, before I watched this movie, I watched the trailers. And there was one thing I did. I predicted. I gave my prediction. Now, looking in hindsight, right, I kind of should have recorded my prediction because at that point, you know, I mean, at this point, currently, it's kind of useless because I, I watched the movie so I could say what happened in the movie and say that I got it right. So I'm not going to say that. Fuck that. We're just going to talk about it. I also knew something was up when um, apparently my friend also said that they were changing the ticket prices. They were they were raising the ticket prices. They're like, niggas, a DC movie's getting love. Let's raise them fucking prices. And guess where? And guess where we went to? An AMC movie theater. An AMC movie theater. That's where the fuck we went. I just sat. I just sat through a three hour long Law and Order episode. I just sat through a three hour long Law and Order episode. You don't know what I mean? Literally, guy gets killed. Police shows up. But with the police, it is the Batman. They solve some shit and then they move on. Except in Law and Order, they get it right. They at least get it right. Alfred and Bruce over this bitch getting basic Spanish wrong that will draw out the movie. That draws out the movie. One thing I'm upset about, about this movie, is that these writers always make a character in the light of what they should be. What they should be. Let me give you an example. A couple years ago, Captain Marvel was brought to the MCU. And with that, it was kind of like big, bo big boy moves, big girl moves, because Wonder Woman was about to come out too, or it already came out. So that's two female leads that are going head to head. And what they did was they fucking casted someone and wrote the character as in what they thought Captain Marvel should be. What Carol Danvers should be. Carol Danvers should be empowering. Carol Danvers should be 
a great leader for women and everyone to look up to. Should. But here's just one little thing. The movie was ass. The movie was ass. Captain Marvel was ass. Please tell me. Please tell me. There is at least one person that likes a movie. So I could tell you to your face, the movie was ass. Also, there's another warning. Fuck Marvel. This is not a fucking Marvel shill. Fuck Marvel. We ain't talking about Marvel. We talking about DC. We talking about the Batman. Now, I might bring up some examples that references Marvel, but that's not me talking about Marvel. That is just me referencing. So I'm referencing how badly they got a Marvel character. And this is what they did with the Batman. They played and made the movie as in Batman should be instead of making him. Batman should be vengeance. Batman should be dark. Batman should be vengeful, fearful, feared, angry. Should be instead of actually making the character into that. It's like when you try so hard to place a label into a character, you kind of just rid it on them instead of actually filling them up. That's what I got from this. With the with the runtime that we were given, do you really think DC earned that? DC, do you really think you earned in-game level movies? And you want to know why? Not because they added more elements, or at least explained a lot of things. It was to get fucking shots for suspense events and suspense scenes that were kind of actually very, very low in my mind, as in anticlimactic. I just can't watch suspenseful movies because in the suspenseful scenes when it's a typical Violin heart. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> do 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 do. Your heart rate's supposed to be getting up. I'm like, oh shit, some real shit's about to go down. Some real shit's about to go down. <laughs> that shit falls flat on its face like a fucking pancake to me, because I am who I am. I'm a human, so I think of the worst thing possible that can happen in the movie, and what actually happens in the movie makes me fucking laugh. <laughs> Nigga, there were so many times where I looked at my friend, I just gave him the side eye. Niggas, I'm just like. Now, let me go into more depth, because I know niggas are probably like, you're not actually having examples. My biggest right, my biggest gripe with the fucking movie, right, is, a, is the should be play, right? Also, why the fuck can't anyone in fucking Gotham City speak normally? Why the fuck does every single actor and actress in this goddamn movie... Actually, no, there were some actors and actresses that actually spoke. Why are the main characters not able to fucking get a goddamn sentence out without sounding like they're getting butt-fucked and, and mouth-fucked by a bag of fucking marbles and gravel? That shit's torture. It, it gets to you. It really gets to you. Oh, uh, this is a nitpick. No! If it's the movie then you get to criticize it. It's not like I'm criticizing something outside of the movie. This is the movie. Gordon did not say a goddamn fucking cohesive word that didn't have to be used, like didn't, that didn't have to use a goddamn magnifying glass for ears just to hear him. The loudest and the most clearest I heard this nigga was when he yelled at Penguin in the underpass when they fucking caught him after Batman caused a 3,000 collision, like 3,000 car collision on a goddamn freeway. Bruce, Alfred, Penguin. Carmine Falcone. Speaking of Carmine Falcone, another character, as in we should play them and what they should be. Carmine Falcone, Falcone, Falcone is a fucking mob boss. Practically runs Gotham is what they said. This nigga runs everything. The police work for me. That nigga was ass. I was not scared of him. And I'm not scared in the sense of I'm scared of him. Like I wasn't scared of what he could do to people. I wasn't because there was no reason to. All he did was get someone killed. That's like the most pivotal point in the movie when Bruce finds out that Carmine Falcone killed his parents or, or, or got him killed. And th that too, they didn't really explain that. Alfred is just like, I don't know. Uh, I think that's what I think. Or maybe it was just a thug. It was flip flopping like plot points. Either, I forgot the other Bob, mob boss's name. Either he got him killed or Carmine Falcone got him killed, or it was just some random thug. What? Don't you think that's kind of important? I get it. Alfred got fucking blown the fuck up, right? His mind's not all over, it is all over the place. His mind's not in the right state. But this is writing here. This is an actual universe. Someone wrote these people. Someone wrote for these people to say these lines. So you get to control it. So you get to control 
how the fuck they can't land on one goddamn plot point. Either this mob boss killed them, or a random thug, or this person killed them. I spent every day trying to search for them. You kind of think that in a movie about detective work, you would find out who the fuck killed your goddamn billionaire like owners? Oh wait, no, because you can't even do a goddamn Spanish puzzle, right? That's why I said it's a law and order. It's typical. Someone dies, walk into the scene. And then there were some points when, like this, this movie was hailed as it's a detective movie. So we're not going to tell you stuff. You have to figure it out with you. And then there's this point in the movie where they just kind of tell it. They just simply tell it for the audience. Like we can't see for ourselves. Commissioner Gordon, I mean, not commissioner. He's not commissioner yet. Gordon comes over and says the fucking clue that Bruce just spent 30 seconds looking at. These shots in this movie, oh my God. Talk about drawing the fuck out. That's why it's three hours long. Drawn the fuck out. And added no suspense too, because nothing big happened at the end. It's just me walking around here. Hold on, let me actually get the fucking voice. I don't even know, because I'm trying to speak clearly for you guys. Maybe I'm not doing that well. Maybe I'm doing that well. I don't really know. But let me, let me try. All right, let me try. <laughs> yeah, you think? You think that's actually good enough for us? Maybe we have to, maybe we have to uh, try it. No, I'm, I'm still speaking. Maybe we have to try uh, um, good inside. Cause if you uh, The fucking clearest character was the Riddler, like the that I can hear. And let's talk about the fucking Riddler. Let's talk about the fucking Riddler, right? So y'all really not gonna say this nigga wasn't the fucking Joker from the Dark Knight? So you really, you really, you really going to say to yourself, nah, he was a very great, a great representation of a, a, a villain. Let me tell you, let me say something and let's see if your brain's connected. Mentally ill villain strings on hero who doesn't know it all. Mentally ill villain strings on hero who doesn't know it all. That's basically like the whole movie of the Dark Knight, not the Batman. You know, so you thought I was talking about the Batman. I didn't give you an answer beforehand. I just kept saying it. So your brain could come up with the answer of what you want. Maybe you didn't think about the Batman, but for those who did, I got you. And that's what the fuck these writers just did to you for three hours. Mentally ill villain strings on hero who doesn't know it all. Now you can counterpoint say, that's the point of the whole movie. No, 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 no. I'm saying the villain, like the Riddler does some cliche shit. You're not as smart as I thought you were. I thought you knew it all. Or, 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 or they're pushing you. Like, bitch, there's no fucking manual on how to do this shit. You didn't come up with a manual Riddler, Riddler to solve these fucking riddles. But no, we're not talking about the riddles. We're actually talking about the plot. Like, this was before Bruce found out all about what the fuck he was about to do. The Riddler's like... Uh, uh. That's what the Riddler's doing. That's what he... I'm just making... I'm just like literally... Copying with the really no, that's not how we're supposed to go. <sighs> you don't know everything, do you? Like, yo, nigga, what the, what the fuck is up with writers and giving mentally ill people a camera and calling it a day by having them hate society? It's been reused too many times at this point. Maybe it's a reflection of our actual society, but bro, if you make an outcast into the villain. There's still a fucking dickwad. Like, he's still a dickwad. I don't give a fuck what the fuck happened to him. This nigga just murdered hella people, whether good nor bad. And and, and my friend, too, because shout out to my nigga Todd, shout out to my nigga Sean and San Fran, Cisco. They hate when I say San Fran. There was a good point they, they brought up, too. The Riddler only killed, right? Corrupted people that ran the city. That, that was his whole shtick. These people are supposed to be good, but they're bad. I got a point I just remember too, but let me continue on this one. He only killed corrupted cops, city leaders, just people that had some sort of political power or power, but then murders half the fucking like city of Gotham. I don't give a fuck if he's like, he didn't actually, that nigga set up the vans, set up the bombs. He did it. He had help, but him, he came up with a plan. He murdered half the fucking city. You know how many fucking orphans he killed? Mr. Orphan himself. That's what, that's what the fuck my like issue is with these goddamn villains who always are like society. You yourself have done way worse, faster and quicker than anything these fucking city officials have done. You know, Thomas Wayne died because he either got killed by Falcone or the other person or just a random thug. That's why the renewal project got taken 
by all the corrupt leaders. That, that he died. And here's another thing too. Alfred says that Thomas didn't want the reporter to get killed, but Falcone says he did. Who the fuck do we believe? Who? Do we believe Alfred, who just got blown up in the face and has, probably has like brain trauma and head trauma for the rest of his fucking life? Do we trust Falcone? Falcone, who's a terrible father and a terrible like character in itself, as in like their morality and how they were written. Okay, all right. I've been harping on for too long. Let me tell you some stuff I liked about the movie. And you niggas can shut the fuck up in the comments. I liked the cinematography. Very much so. I feel like if you paused the movie at some of the action points, it could be like some sort of like album cover or some shit like that. Like just very fluid cinematography. I liked Zo I like Zoe Kravitz a lot. I liked her a lot. A lot. I remember. All in all, this is what I feel about the movie. I got edged. I got edged. There were moments when I wanted to fucking nut in my pants. Because I'm a fucking nerd through and through. I'm a comic book nerd. I grew up with this shit. I grew up with the Arkham games and all that. I got edged. That's probably why I can't watch suspense movies. Because I think of the best thing possible for myself. And I think of the worst thing possible. The worst thing in these suspenseful like scenes. And I just get edged. Like the fight scenes. They could have been a little better for me. But like. I'm going to be honest. Dude. I'm going to be a parent. That's kind of like unfair to the writers too. But. Just like a lot of my videos, I don't think the writers put out a movie because they're scared of alienating people. Oh, yeah. Another thing. Did they really just set up the Joker in the first movie? You can't lie to me and say that wasn't the Joker. You can't. How the hell do you set up the Joker before you can even get the Batman? Right. In my opinion. Because to me, and I think to a lot of people, the Joker is higher stakes than Batman. If you get the Joker wrong, you get the franchise wrong, i.e. wink wink, Suicide Squad. Bro, what is up with these movie franchises and thinking like five movies ahead when they need to focus on the first one? They can always do better. Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. But really? The Joker? We're not even done with the Riddler. That's what they, that's what they made it seem like. But, but the Joker? Really? <sighs> Oh, okay. Yeah, this is this is another reshoot because I, I I keep remembering a lot of shit. Um, uh, you know, just a small, small, small little detail. I'm trying to remember. Where the fuck was the gore? Please, somebody. Somebody, please tell me where the gore was. And don't you tell me that that severed thumb was the gore. Nigga, we getting animated movies and animated shows with more gore than this shit. You want this character to be so dark in this, this dark Gotham. I'm trying to see niggas' heads get blown the fuck off. What the fuck is this kitty ass gore? What is it? Like, like, please tell me. We got niggas getting their head bashed in. I don't see no blood. The only blood I see is dried up fake blood. I'm trying to see niggas' heads get blown the fuck off. This is gritty, dark night, dark Gotham. The mayor got fucking blasted. We don't see shit. Both mayors, real and Mitchell. Batman beating niggas' faces in. It's just prosthetic broken noses. That's all we get. Nigga, I'm trying to see some blood, some gore, if we really about to get this nigga really dark. It was like a fucking kitty movie. I didn't know it was, it was rated PG-13. What was the rating? What's the rating? Okay. It was rated PG-13. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right. I'll calm down a little bit. Actually, no. No. Hell fucking no. The trailers make this nigga like, look like he was just demented. Like, what the fuck? There was not one moment where I said, ooh, I want to look away from the screen. No, the screen. I'm like, no. Nah. I'm looking at that shit. I'm like, all right, are we going to see the, uh, what was that? Are we going to see, um, the commissioner's face? No. Are we going to see the DA's body get blown up? No. Are we going to see the mayor's head get split up? No. DC, if you really want a nigga to be dark, you should add a little bit more realistic elements as in like a fucking head getting blown off instead of cutting away from it. You're so pressing it in these guy, these shots, these good ass shots of uh, explosions, Batman coming out of the dark, getting shot. But, like, you don't really, like, show where it counts to me. 
or to other people because it's not just me i know there's other people out there who think that the, maybe i should have known the rating going into it i accept I expected a little too much from the fucking trailers of them showing batman pounding a nigga face and repeatedly like 10 times didn't even show that there's so much more i'm probably gonna have to make another video about this more fleshed out but jesus christ man jesus christ i don't know man this is more of a rant and a ramble if people really get upset because my manga video i just hit a thousand views also thank you guys a lot of people were a little bit upset or like just just like threw the fucking opinion to the side just because they of their opinion the general public loves this movie niggas love this movie they're calling it the best batman film ever so i'm i'm putting this bitch out there i'm not a i'm not a um critic I don't have a million like subscribers that can like bandwagon on my idea. It is just a nigga in his room. It is just me. I do this because I care, DC. I do this because I really care. And you niggas have been breaking my fucking heart repeatedly. So I say this. Never again will I spend money on a three hour movie. Never again will I spend money on your movie. Because you tried and you didn't succeed but um also that russian girl like i said again you think that with a three-hour movie there would be a little bit more like fleshing out for these characters where the fuck did this russian girl come from here's what i have to assume since they don't really like let us know we have to assume about a character as pivotal as her because we spent so much time searching for her and letting her be like the main like focus for some scenes a lot of scenes and then she just gets killed off like that and we only know a name Annika, that's all we know about her. She was connected to Mitchell, the, the mayor. Where he met her, I don't know. Is she a prostitute? Is she a sex worker? Is she a, was she a bartender? That's bartender. Was she a, uh, was she a bartender? And then poof, she just gone like that. She was used. That's the only thing of her, like she was just used. But man, yeah. Huh. I don't know, man. Maybe I'll rewatch it and not in the theaters. Maybe I'll rewatch it to where I can pause it and play it. Wink, wink. But, um, yeah, I just, I just don't like how the writers literally took, literally took not elements, but literal like plot points and motifs and themes from the first, like the, the trilogy, the Dark Knight trilogy, and just use it in this movie. Villain, mentally ill villain, strings on hero who doesn't know it all. The Catwoman and Batman dynamic was the most fucking like reuse shit ever. That's all their relationship is. Oh, I'm a thief and I didn't have a nice childhood. Oh, well, I didn't have a nice childhood too. Let's get together through our trauma and, and try and help the city. You know, I'm a bad girl and I like stealing, but for you, I'll try. They try it. They have some good moments. They fuck. And then something happens to Selena's life where she's like, ah, oh, dang, I can't do this anymore. I tried to go good, but I can't be good. I'm a bad girl. And Bruce is like, please try for me. And she's like, no. And then Bruce is like, well then, I can't help you. You think I'm just listing off what happened in the Batman, but this is almost every single fucking story about Catwoman and Batman. The only one I kind of changed it, I kind of did, was The Dark Knight Rises. With Anne Hathaway. Mind you, I'm not saying that that was a better Catwoman. I do like Zoe Kravitz. A lot. But. <laughs> Jesus. Um, all in all, at the end, this is just my opinion. This is just my opinion. It does not hurt anybody. I will. I don't dislike you if you like the movie or think it's the best. I don't dislike you if you um, think it's just okay. This is just my opinion, and these are your opinions. I'm very open to having discussions in the comments. Join my Discord if you want to have discussions with me in person. Um, if you don't give a fuck about me or you haven't made it this far, who cares? If you have, I appreciate you greatly. Um, yeah. 
I'm going to have the San Fran vlogs out very soon. Just had to make this quick video for you guys. Uh, thank you again for watching. Thank you again for a thousand views. Uh, be sure to share the video too. If you want to get your friends in on this and have them angry too. And uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I might, I might rewatch the movie. But thank you for watching. It's been your boy, Big Heart, Big Nose, Big Duet, Default Tafe. I'll see you later. Peace.